Hey everyone, Justin here with Two Brothers Comics and I got more stuff in the mail. Want to see what I got? Stick around and we'll bust open these boxes. Thanks for checking out the video. If you aren't, please hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit the notification bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback regarding these toy haul slash unboxing videos, and I'm glad that everyone's enjoying them. I'm not going to stop buying toys either way, but it makes me happy that you guys like seeing what I'm buying. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in from places like Walgreens, even Bandai Premium, and of course, Amazon. So let's bust them open. We'll take a look at everything. The first thing I got came in from Akari, and because you have to open it within three days so that the seller can get paid, I actually opened it off camera, and uh, I'll just show it to you now. Um, unfortunately, I kind of fed into the scalper system. I couldn't wait for my store to get this particular item. I found what I thought was a really good deal on Makari because it was more than just this figure. It was two figures and I, in my head I rationalized it as, well, the person selling it is only going to make five to ten dollars off of me and that's before the Makari fees. So that's how I made myself feel better about the situation. Uh, what am I talking about? What two items did I pick up? Of course, I'm talking about the NECA TMNT cartoon slash and leatherhead two pack i have yet to see this in my local target and i mean you know me i don't have patience and i can't wait and i'm a completionist so i needed it now i actually needed it last week uh, but unfortunately i had to wait so i got this as one thing in the box and the other was this super seven reaction Space Cadet Wrath. Now I just started collecting this line and I've really enjoyed it and the fact that this was thrown in as a, an extra figure in that Macari lot seemed like a no-brainer to me. Uh, next up, this package here, which I ordered directly from Bandai Premium, which is the North American distributor of Bandai. This was supposed to be the, one of their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. They didn't obviously have San Diego, but they still put the exclusives up online. The website, it was a, whew, it was a kerfluffle. Fortunately, Bandai listened to all of their fans who were having issues with it and proceeded to put the items up again, at least a couple more times over the next week. So if you wanted these, there was more than one, two, three chances to go ahead and order this. And this item is the SH Figure Arts Ultra Instinct Sign Sun Goku. So if you watch Dragon Ball Super, this is Goku right before he gains full mastery of Ultra Instinct. And you can see on the back, better shot of him without the glare. So I'm really glad to, to get this. I'll be able to put it into my uh, Dragon Ball figure art shelf. All right, next up. I'm excited for this one. It's from Walgreens. It is a, or at least it should be. I learned my lesson after that Megalopolis Peter Bankman incident. This uh, hopefully is a Marvel Legends figure. And it looks like it is. It is the Marvel Legends Walgreen exclusive Moon Knight. Uh, this is a figure that I'm really excited to have to put on my shelf. With the uh, current storyline that's going on in Avengers right now, I think this figure eventually will become hard to find. And it's I think it's going to go up in price. Uh, that's why I was excited to get it at retail. And was able to get it, you know, directly from Walgreens himself. Uh, next up, we got a box from Amazon. Now, I've got a few packages here from Amazon. Uh, I don't remember what's in any of them. So, if I had to guess, I think it's probably more Star Wars Black. Um, because I've been having a lot of Star Wars Black pre-orders come in over the past, you know, week or so. Yep, and that's exactly what this one is. 
It is the Star Wars Black uh, Soko Tano in the new packaging. I believe this is from her appearance in Rebels. Or no, I take the back. The back of the packaging say, says it's from her appearance in Clone Wars. Either way, it's good to have her to put on the shelf. Another one from Amazon, and it is a card back, so I can't wait to see what it looks like when we open it. If you saw the last video, then you know that uh, I had some gripes about the way that Amazon is sending these card back figures through the mail in just padded envelopes. And this, is, this one's no exception. So the figure we got was the Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Imperial Snowtrooper on a card back. However, the card back is warped and bent because we like to mail them in, in mailers. I like that I'm sitting here complaining about bended cards. Um, I'm complaining about toys. Uh, first world problems, right? All right, so another one from Amazon. Oh, and I really hate these new style of envelopes that I sometimes get from Amazon because they're stuffed with, uh, you know, almost like a foam packing peanut and they just go everywhere and man, Amazon shipping. Anyway, uh, this is the Star Wars Black Hera. So I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the Rebels characters and putting them on the shelf and just having kind of a mini Rebels display. Three more packages. This one is from Amazon. And it is another Star Wars Black figure. Another card back. And, uh, well, it is the Star Wars Black Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Boba Fett on the card back from Amazon in a padded envelope and of course it is bent. What are you going to do? Uh, fortunately I'm a loose collector hashtag let them breathe so we will we'll open these to display them on the shelf. All right two more this one's from Hasbro Pulse. I don't remember what it is. Oh, cool. So it's uh, we're sticking with the theme. Uh, it's Star Wars Black. It is Zeb from Rebels. This is the first time this character is appearing in this line. Uh, so a lot of fans are happy that we finally have the full cast of Rebels. It's looking good. And in, in case you guys were interested, this is the entire packaging art for these figures. And I really like the sleek design and the art that's on the sides here and the back. It, they're doing good stuff over there. All right. Last box. It's from Target. This is what I'm super excited for. It's the one I was looking forward to the most. It'll probably be the first thing that I open out of all of the stuff that you've just seen. And uh, if, you, if you've been watching these, you know that I only really get one thing from Target. And uh, if you want to go ahead and guess what that thing is, you can guess to yourself right now because if you list it in the comments, then I know you're cheating. It is the NECA. TMNT, Cartoon April O'Neil, and Foot Soldier 2-Pack. So with this figure, I now have the entirety of Wave 2. I'm sorry, Wave 3. So no more getting up, going to Target early in the morning, at lunchtime, after dinner, to see if these are on the shelf. That's it. I'm done with Wave 3. Now we can look forward to Wave 4 whenever they come out. Really excited to have it. So guys, normally this is where you would see the things stacked up here and I would be speaking behind them. Uh, unfortunately, I did not plan this very well and behind the camera, I actually built more detail of shelves like you see behind me. So it's actually cut off the amount of space that I have, which is why I'm a lot closer to the camera. Well, that's it everyone. That's all the stuff that I got. 
Uh, as always, please let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was, and maybe if you'd like to see a close-up of one of these items outside of the box. I'm trying to come up with some new ideas as a way to spice these videos up, make them a little bit different than what we've been doing. Until next time, remember, take care and collect your way.